Hello everyone and welcome to this lecture. Today I'm going to go over how to code ICD-10 PCS codes from the measurement and monitoring section. Just like all of our other PCS codes, the measurement and monitoring section is the same in the format. So we have seven characters. You'll notice most of these character values are the same, but not all of them. So our first character is always our section. Second character is our body system. Third character is our root operation. Fourth character is the body system. Fifth character, again, is our approach. Now the sixth character is the function. And then the seventh character is qualifier. So when we're coding from the measurement and monitoring section, all of our procedure codes will start with the character value four. So the section for this begins with a four. And then our body system choices for our second character value will either be an A for physiological systems or a B for physiological devices. We only have two root operations in this section of PCS. Again, I recommend that you make flashcards. Flashcards, again, are very, very beneficial. The root operations, again, if you open up the back of any PCS code book, there is Appendix B with all the root operation definitions. I recommend every time you're in a new section in PCS that you do make flashcards to go over what the root operations are for that section. Sometimes they're the same as other sections, but not always. So again, in the measurement and monitoring section, we only have these two, measurement and monitoring. Measurement, our definition is determining the level of a physiological or physical function at a point in time. Some examples might be an EKG. And then monitoring, the definition of that, is determining the level of a physiological or physical function repetitively over a period of time. And an example of that is urinary pressure monitoring. So our fourth character, again, is the body system. So when we're coding this, you want to think about what body system is being measured or monitored. So was it the respiratory? Was it the gastrointestinal? Was it the lymphatic? Where exactly is the measurement or monitoring occurring? Our fifth character, again, is the approach. All the approaches here we've seen before in past PCS coding, but our approaches are, again, are external, open, percutaneous, percutaneous endoscopic via natural or artificial opening, or via natural or artificial opening endoscopic. And then our last two characters in the code are sixth and seventh characters for function and qualifier. So the sixth character identifies the function, and that is the physiological or physical function that is actually being measured or monitored by the procedure that we're coding. And then the seventh character value for the qualifier is identifying the specific body part or variation of the procedure being performed. Okay, let's do two practice cases and hopefully you guys will feel really comfortable with this section. I think it's pretty straightforward. So in our first practice case, we have a 66-year-old male who was admitted for CHF. The physician performed an external measurement of his cardiac pacemaker today. So as always, we always want to ask ourselves, what was the intent of our procedure? So what is the root operation? And from there, we're gonna look up our PCS code. So from this, what is our root operation? Remember, we only have two choices in the measurement and monitoring section. It would either be measurement or monitoring. Hold 
Hopefully you guys said measurement. So let's go to our index and go to measurement. In my PCS index, I'm on page 78. And then under measurement, what were we measuring? Cardiac activity, right? So under measurement, look for cardiac. And then under cardiac, you'll see pacemaker. And this is a great example of where we're given all seven characters of our code right here in the index. But I still like to verify, so I would still take that code and verify in the table. So hopefully you guys all got 4B02XSZ. So again, our root operation is measurement, then we go to cardiac, then to pacemaker. We know we're using X for external, and then S for pacemaker, and our seventh character was no qualifier. Remember, Z is always that no qualifier. Okay, we have one more case study. So in this practice case, we have a 29-year-old Gravita 2 Para 1 who is in active labor with fetal distress. The physician inserts an internal fetal heart monitor to monitor the baby's heart rate during delivery. What is our root operation? And then what is our ICD-10 PCS code? So again, we only have two root operations to pick from in this section. So would it be measurement or monitoring? Hopefully you guys said monitoring. And then let's flip open our ICD-10 PCS index to monitoring. I'm on page 79 in mine. And then what are we monitoring? The baby's heart rate, right? So what, what would that be categorized under if we look at these subterms under monitoring? There's arterial, cardiac, central, nervous, gastrointestinal, intraoperative knee replacement, lymphatic, peripheral nervous, products of conception, respiratory, skin and breast vascular perfusion, sleep, temperature, urinary, venous. So from those, which subterm are we going to go to? Hopefully you guys said products of conception, right? So we're gonna do monitoring then products of conception. And then what are we monitoring on the products of conception on the baby? Well, we're monitoring the heart. So we're gonna go to cardiac and then we have four choices, electrical activity, rate, rhythm, or sound. And we're doing the heart rate. So we're gonna pick a rate, so under monitoring, products of conception, cardiac, rate, you should see the characters 4A1H. So now let's flip to that table. In my PCS book, the table is on page 706 and 707. We actually want the table on 707 because that's where the body, sy body system character H that we need for our fourth character is. So once we're here, then what approach would we pick? We have three choices in row H. It, we have seven for uh, by a natural artificial opening, eight by a natural artificial opening endoscopic, or X external. So what do you guys think? 
The physician inserted an internal fetal heart monitor to monitor the baby's heart rate. Hopefully you picked seven by a natural or artificial opening. And then we have our function or device, character six. Would we pick four for electrical activity, C for rate, F for rhythm, or H for sound? We want C for rate, right? Because we're monitoring the heart rate. And then our seventh character is no choice there, so we have no qualifier for Z. So our code, we would have 4A1H7CZ. Okay, I hope you found these two cases beneficial. And remember to make the flashcards for measuring and monitoring, and then you will be able to master the procedures in this section quickly.